Hey guys, it's the Dragon Geek here, and welcome back to Not So Berry. So, where we last left off, even though I'm trying to get these two to wake up, I got the notification that Connor had gone into labor. So, he needs to go to the hospital, because I don't think we yet have, um... What is necessary to have for a grown man to have a baby at home? So let's have Kaylee go with him for a bit of moral support. We're going to probably need all the support we can get. And I'm going to leave you guys here while these two are driving to the hospital. Alright guys, we are in the dead of night with, I guess, a jar... I think that's her name, as a doctor, and Kaylee is freaking out. I uh, kind of don't blame her. So let's um, check in with... Who is this? Oh my gosh, there's a loudspeaker in here. That is awesome. Who is this? With Avani. So everyone who works at this hospital appears to be an elder, and there goes Kaylee running to the computer. I honestly wish they would stop doing this, but they continue to. So Kaylee, come in here and watch the birth. What is wrong with you? Oh, she's having a pre-parental panic. At least she kind of sees herself as this baby's mother. So, um, in preparation for this, because I honestly was not expecting Connor to have another child, I downloaded a random name generator on my phone so I wouldn't have to come up with any names and I think that that is perfect um is there anything else we're just waiting for this little ball of sunshine to come into this world I suppose um ooh I can choose what country the name's from um <gasps> a boy! Connor's not by himself anymore! Alright, what type of name to- let's just go American. And... Hmm. Oh gosh, Connor came up. We can't do that. Clifford? Ooh, nah. Bernard, Tom, Jesse, Dakota, Eric, Avery, Pedro, Mario, Ernest. You know what? I'm feeling... I'm feeling Clifford. Let's do Clifford. Clifford. Please be the only child. Congratulations, the doctor has repaired the birth certificate. Ooh, he at, has a different mother than the girls. Um, is this not... Is there another baby in there? Kaylee, stop freaking out. Oh, Connor is getting old. You can see it in his face. He's just tired. What is he getting in line for? He wants to cuddle the baby, though. Where are you going, Connor? Are you checking in? Don't. It's actually time to go home. Grab your child and go home. Everyone, go home. He wants to buy something. Oh, we're checking in, I suppose. Oh, she's all confident now. Why are you confident? Because she loves the surroundings. Awesome. O'Connor, it's time to go home. Why are you upset, dude? There's no time for that. Go home. Do I have to make you guys? You're not having a baby. What is going on? Ah! Hmm. Well, while I figure this out, I'm going to leave you guys here and meet up with you when we're back home so we can try to figure this out. Alright, I finally made it home. Oh gosh, everyone is talking all at once and came outside. Whoa. 
but who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. And all my friends seem to have it all figured out. How do I figure it out myself? Um, pick out something you like. I feel like that's the best. Ooh, both girls have problems. School is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Um, you have to go to school. Um, so while I was at the hospital, I got a notification that I better feed this child or the child will be taken away from me. So, um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm thinking that unlike the girls, we're going to let this child, um, stay a kid for a little bit. Um, and then I think starting next episode especially. I kind of wanted to at this episode, but then Connor got pregnant and then he ended up giving birth almost immediately. I'm definitely going to focus on uh, Marie starting next episode since she is the one that's going to continue our um, legacy. So, actually, one of the things we need to do is prepare another room. So, like, as the oldest, I put Violet in this room. Um, and now, and I totally forgot to rearrange this room for Marie. Um, I'm thinking about, like, kind of almost cutting this room down the middle if at all possible. Um, kind of doing um, something like this, maybe? No, that's actually not. No point in doing that. Um, Alright, so put a bed here. Like, I'm just doing this for layout, um... And then having... A toy box right there, maybe? Kind of like this. Quite possibly. I mean, it's a small room, but I'm at the point of I have no clue what to do. Um, can we just put this sandwich down here, I suppose? Um, yeah, right there. We have a bunch of stuff we could sell. Um, I don't remember where this book came from. Probably do need this light. Balloons and banner. Test pedestal. I have like no need for this stuff, but maybe Connor may want it one day, so we'll just keep it. Um, we're going to need a toddler bed um, now that we have like a type of setup. We can leave that a toddler bed. Oops. I did not want show all comfort. Let's do a race car bed. I don't know what he wants. And then we'll kind of keep the same toy box, move the night lamp in there, and then paint his room a different color. Let's go with green since he's a green baby let's go with green i think that would be nice um blue's fine do i want a different color yeah there is a green race car for him um so let's now deal with marie's room so she's going to be fairly She's going to be a smarty. Um, is there a... I really do like this bed. 
or see if there's anything. These are all really nice. Let's go with this one. It looks really odd to me. And since I want her to be a nerd, oops, let's totally forgot to do, oops, the rest of this. I do definitely want her to be a nerd, so I'm going to put a desk setup in here that I, I'm just going to have it match her sister's, and then we're going to lock um, oops, I lock everyone out the room. Same with her sister. What is going on? Desktop. There we go, and let's get a different chair. Sorry about that slamming door. Let's just get a simple black chair. Um, I don't know what else I might want for this room. Um, let's also take, um, carpet out of here since she's no longer a child. I'm going to keep the master bedroom carpeted. Actually, no. I'm going to replace it with flooring. Um, so what else might a young nerd want? Um, because she's artistic. Actually, let me just go through the hobbies and stuff. Because we have um, the chess table downstairs. Um, yeah, if she wants to be a super nerd, if she can just learn how to play chess, I don't know what else she really can do, and then I guess through Clifford's personality, we can figure out what he wants. Alright, let's go back to live mode, and have, ooh, buy 50 things. Lock door for everyone but Marie. She's a teenager now. She's going to want to lock her room. So it is Wednesday, so they sh Ooh, schedule a date. We will have to find someone for you, Marie. Um, and also, sorry about any noise you might hear for reasons unknown to me. College students go crazy when they see snow. I mean, I was... Hush, Panda. I can hear you laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I was excited. Panda was also excited. It's because where we are geographically. But That's why people go crazy. We don't need craziness for an hour, though. <laughs> So yeah, you may hear screaming as they run past my bedroom window. We'll just ignore it for the next couple of days, probably. Alright, so Violet. She, I think right, this is Violet. Kind of want her to do some painting when she's done cleaning the, I wanted you to finish cleaning the toilet, but if you don't want to, that is fine. Marie, um, use the bathroom. I swear these girls do not know how to use the bathroom. And then they're going to go to school soon. Um, and these are still their projects out here that they have yet to finish. Oh well, but from these projects, they, oh gosh, you two are glitching. Um, they learn valuable skills. Um, Marie's going to hate her life for a bit. Put this cake away. Put away. Go, 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 girl. Um, and they should be have school soon. Is this your homework or... No, whose homework is this? This is not your homework. This is Violet's homework then. 
All right. Kaylee is playful. It may ha Oh, yeah, they didn't have any sleep. Connor also didn't have sleep, but maybe it was the drugs when he gave birth. Quite possibly. All right, you guys should be going to school soon. Go. I still love this dress. I honestly don't know why I love it on her, but I think it looks fabulous. All right, Violet, you're leaving soon as well. Are you still upstairs? Yeah, you're just upstairs. So Connor, please tell me you have some- You have no time off- You just gave birth. Um... I do want him to take a day off. He literally just gave birth. Um... How do I... Can I just take a vacation? Yeah, take vacation day. He's look- I don't know if it's just his picture. Um, over here, but he is not looking so good. Is he sick? Or is he just getting old? He's get- he has some crinkles under his eyes. It's probably from the three children he's given birth to. He's also- he's also put on a bit of weight. Yes, Connor has taken a vacation day. Um, why are you guys constantly watching the Children's Network? Um, watch. How about the two of you watch a rom com together? I feel like that is more you guys. Um, actually, what am I doing? I need. Or at least next episode. I need Marie to find some friends to talk. This is not correct. But I don't care right enough right now to do so. Um, yep. She's going to sleep, I suppose. No, she's just going to take a nap because she can't go to sleep. Connor, what are you doing? Watching romance. Okay, let's see what's going on. This looks like a telenovela. A little bit. Not for like the horses in the background. Oh my gosh, it's a medical drama. Soon two doctors are going to show up and make out in a closet. Accurate. Let's stop watching television with our sims. Alright, Connor, what do you want to do today? Cloud gaze with Marie. Shh. Oop, baby's crying. Totally did not hear him. Oh wait, does Kaylee have... Um, is she... Yeah, she's good. Connor. He's so cute. Question mark, question mark. Let's cuddle, change dirty diaper, and breastfeed again. And stop watching television. Kaylee. Kaylee needs to go to sleep. But she won't go to sleep on her own, unfortunately. Alright, there you go. All confidently walking away to probably go sleep on the couch. Oh, or trolling to forums. That's us a girl. Marie met either Mackie or Maki at school. Um, ooh, we made some money from Kaylee. I can't really see who that is. Can I? Alright, here we go. She... I'm assuming female, but I'm not sure. We'll just see if we have to, if we invite this young lady over. Well, young lady or male. I don't know. Alright, baby's good. Connor, what do you want to do? You want to cloud a gaze with Marie? Let's 
No, sh it's only ten. Usually, I only have Kaylee. Um. Actually, let's do some work on your aspiration. How can I increase my mischief skill? Or I can read a book on how to be mischievous. Um, what are pull pranks? Um, right, let's pull a couple of pranks on Kaylee. Let's see how she likes it. Mischief. Do not ask due date. Goodness gracious, no. Um, let's have him lie about his career. I mean, she's obviously going to know <laughs> his real career, but I think it might be a little bit hilarious. Alright. Alright. Is she finding it funny? Hilarious? Um, it, alright, that was funny, um, let's share conspiracy theory. I don't see how this is a prank. And his foot's glitching through the couch. <laughs> I think he's telling conspiracy about aliens. I mean, her as an alien knows they exist. Um, let's see. Mischief. Let's claim to be a criminal mastermind. That might be... Oh, they're being romantic now. Um, ooh, love poetry. So obviously she finds it kind of romantic that he's being mischievous, I suppose. A tiny bit. Maybe, I don't know. His prank meter's not going up. Oh, there it goes. Um, let's have him troll the forums a bit more. Um, I think that might be interesting. Ooh, the mail's been delivered. Let's have Kaylee go get the mail. Oh, she's finally asleep. Let's leave her there. Please tell me you're- no, she's napping. The Sims refuse to go to sleep. And there is a dog. I am... Okay, so me and Panda are fairly certain that there is a dog living here that's not supposed to. Um, mainly because it barks way too much. And it's like, yes, there is a dog that is a service animal. But he never barks at all. And there's this other dog that barks all the time. So we're fairly certain there's at least one animal in this building that's not supposed to be here, but has yet to get kicked out yet. So we're honestly kind of just waiting for that to inevitably happen. Okay, Connor, you can eat some cake, I suppose. And then I need you to troll the forums again. I still can't believe that no one has noticed troll to forums yet. Um, oh, Floyd Mahan died. I know none of these people. Let's send a chain letter to Aaron and hope that he refuses to talk to me again because that would be amazing because I'm sick and tired of Aaron I mean I'm fairly certain he lives west of us if I'm considering that west I think yeah um he's slightly annoying this chain letter you sent me it's clearly a labyrinth pyramid scheme. Could you please not involve me in such nonsense in the future? Actually, let's just continue 
to send chain letters to people we don't know. Um, let's send one to Floyd, even though he's dead. Let's just send one to all the dead people of, of the town. Um, fairly certain I saw that he was dead. Um, and this can help, um, with Connor's mischief, um, aspiration, since we didn't really work on that at all this series. We technically were supposed to, but I spent, I spent most of my time raising our children, um, and trying to get with Kaylee. I mean, we finally wooed her over, but... We did spend a lot of time trying to woo her over. Alright, any more dead people? Wanda! She's dead. Alright, let's just go start start with those people. And then get our pranking up. So he's still flirty. Um, not really sure why. He wants to schedule a date. Never realized you were superstitious enough to actually fall for a chain letter. Kindly keep that junk to yourself. Uh, ooh, Maurice met Hunter at school. That's nice. Oh my gosh, the girls hate school right now. Hey, I got your ridiculous chain letter, and yeah, I immediately deleted it. I swear if anything bad happens to me in the next few days, you'll be in big trouble. Hey, I got... Ooh, this Yeah, this is the same one. But yeah. He's making enemies now. It's wonderful. Let's... You do realize by s um, sending that chain letter to me, you probably exposed my email to countless spam email... To countless spam email lists, right? I get buried in emails already. This was the last thing I needed in my life. Well, you're dead, so... It doesn't really count. Oh my gosh, all these dead people hate me. It's wonderful. I can send mail to pets. That makes no sense whatsoever. Paolo, Yuki. Yuki has to be an adult by now. Let's send one to Amar. Just spamming the heck out of people. Ooh, I only need to do two more, and I'm done with my pranking. Um, Omar. Anyone else? She's alive. Oh, come on. Anyone else? Let me just send another one to Floyd. I'm sure he won't mind whatsoever. Come on, let's get. What level are you on? Oh, he's on level two. Hey, I, oh, we'll be in big trouble again. Yep, we got that one before. Let's send. Give us something new. Ooh, so you got a chain letter in your inbox and decided to pass it along to me. Four words. Die in a fire. D was that how you died? Alright, Marie Kilo is back home from school. No need to make room on the refrigerator door. Her work is merely satisfactory. Violet Grace is done f with school for the day. She is doing satisfactory work. But her teachers at Buckingham think she could easily improve just a little extra effort. Well... She thinks school is stupid and is going to paint. Um, what is her grades? Actually, let's make sure she has at least a B. Um, oh, she's a C student. She should, once she's at a B, she can paint to her heart's content. Um, let's see, yeah. Let's have, oh, she's far too tense. Let's, um, rant about stress in your diary. Um, that should be good for you. Um, Marie... Oh, wait, where is she? 
Um, she can't find a table. Oh. Let's have Marie clean the table so she can, um, relieve her sh- We have a- what? Can- wait, there we go, clean that up. Oh yay, Marie has the, um, video game skill yet. That should be very helpful. And now, can she do homework yet? Yeah. Marie, do homework. Connor, take care of your son. I, I can never hear this child crying. Feed. Um, cuddle. Um, kuat. And I'm kind of, um, kind of similar to, um, babies. Not babies, but, um, what is the word I'm thinking of? They're similar to animals in the Sims. It's kind of hard when you don't know what they want. And then your Sim parents are glitching out because apparently he's doing nothing. And none of my Sims portraits are showing up. Ooh. Is she mad? Is she... Um, put, at least put your homework in your inventory. Um... Oh, she's literally just started. Let's have her rant about stress. And let's sell your homework. It's a dollar, but you can do something about that. Okay, yep, she still has her journal. So even though she's a hot- Ooh, writing skill. I did not know she you can get the writing skill from writing in your journal. Um, so Marie's newly acquired writing skill will allow her to enjoy the benefits of an expanded vocabulary and grammatically correct sentences. Alright. Oh, she did not clean that up. Alright, you st decided to clean that up on your own, so you can at least finish. Um, Violet has finished her homework. Let's get Marie to finish her homework. She can't. Or won't. What is Connor doing? Where is he? He thought he might have gotten abducted by aliens again. So Violet, I want you to continue painting. She can't. Why? Because she needs to sleep. And I also saw the bajillion kitty toys in her inventory. So I'm going to put them away. Alright. She really does have a bajillion kit toys in here. We'll give them those to her brother. Um. Do you have anything? No. I guess it's because she was a playful sim. Whoa. This is your bed. Sleep here. Connor, who is calling you? Is it Aaron? Um, no, Aaron, we do not like you. Please stop calling us. Alright, Marie, wake up so you can go to sleep. I don't- oh, I was trying to figure out how she got back there. Alright, your room's slightly small, but you have desk area, so that's good. Let me put all these lights into auto light, even though they're seemingly broken, I guess. Because half these. I really do think, like, this has been happening, this light glitch has been happening since I got, um, cats and dogs. So I think it's a glitch from that game. So I'm hoping they patch this up soon because I mean it's a tiny thing but it's slightly annoying alright so once Kaylee once you're done with that let's have you use the bathroom and then go to sleep we do not need another baby in this house Kaylee who are you Shingo Watanabe? 
I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But I have n I've never seen him before. And all these people trying to come up to my house. It's not appreciated. Alright, so Connor, he's still fairly excited about this child, but I also need you to go to sleep once you are done um, eating. So uh, it's a fairly early night for this family. Yes, it is only 10, but I would say this is fairly... Whoa, what happened to you? Oh my gosh. Use. Take a shower. What happened? You've been in bed for the last couple of hours. And then once you're done with that, go back to sleep. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah, let's have you do your homework. That's a good want to have. But, um, I'm thinking I'm going to leave it here guys um next episode our main focus is going to be on Marie so I'm going to speed it up play through the next two days so we end so we start on I was about to say Friday evening but I'm more so thinking Saturday morning so we have all so we have all day so, um and we're going to try and get Marie a boyfriend or a girlfriend to help with her aspirations. So her, as our next Sim to carry on this series, we're going to focus on her. Um, so we've had two friends, so for the next two days I'm going to continue to get her friends. Um, and whatnot. So if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do with Marie, leave them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and it lets me know that you guys do enjoy what's going on even when weird stuff happens because the Sims have a mind on their own. And also make sure to subscribe for more content. But I will see you guys later. Bye!